Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to solve the problem of business manager account restricted. Sometimes you can just create a new business manager and immediately it is created. You see that Facebook will restrict your access to advertising or it could be that you have been running advert after some time and all of a sudden you want to run an advert and you see that you are restricted. So first of all, when you see something like this, you read, they will tell you that we noticed some unusual activity on the business account and have restricted its access to advertising. Any ads that any ads connected to this account are currently disabled. So what you need to do is you log into your Facebook profile, then you open to the ad manager. So when you open to the ad manager, you see um, the interface of the ad manager like this. Then you come to the left, you see all tools, then you see business support. So you open to the business support form and then it will bring you to what you've seen here. So you have to request a review. So to request a review, you have to make a few changes to the account. First of all, you come back to the profile again, then um, you click on your top right hand corner. Then you go to meta, the settings, you go to settings and privacy. From there, you go to settings. From the settings, you go to personal details. From personal details, you go to personal details again. You see contact info. So you click on contact info. You check the name on the account and you check um, to make sure that everything is in order. Okay. Now, if you check the name on the account and you also um, check the contact information, um, I'm saying check the contact information because they will send some numbers to your contact. Uh, they, they will send some numbers to your email and phone number. Then also make sure that the name the name on the profile, like what you're seeing here, make sure the name is the same as what is on your ID card, the name. Then also make sure that the date of birth is the same as what is on your ID card. If all that are okay, then we can now proceed to make the appeal. We can proceed to make the appeal. Um. So, yes. Okay. So you come back to the ad manager where you were. You click on continue request. They will ask you to upload your ID card. So um, you go to now, the ID card. Make sure you are you 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 get an ID card that has your real name, your first and last name on it, as is on your Facebook account. Your first and last name. Now, on your Facebook account. Okay, so you make sure that um, you get a picture that is so clear like this with your first, last name, and then your date of birth. It should be either your national ID, your um, passport, your driving license, or your voter ID. Any of them can be accepted. Make sure it has your first, last name, and then your profile picture or a picture of you and your gender on it. After that, um, make sure the picture is also clear. Then you click on continue. They may send an, an email to you or they may also send you um, a phone number and ask you to, you know, put those phone numbers and then verify the code or the, you just make sure that you own the numbers or the email. So after that, sometimes, after you submit the ID, they will ask you to write a letter in addition. If they ask you to write a letter, you can write a letter that, hello, Facebook, um, my Facebook account has been restricted and it has been a big problem for me. Or my business account has been restricted and it's a disturbing uh, news for me because my business depends on Facebook ads to sell. I am told, and then you could exactly the reason. They will tell you that we notice some unusual activity uh, this is because you violated our policies and all that. So just code exactly the reason they gave for disabling your account. So after that, you tell them that you have taken time to read their policies and you realize you haven't violated any of their policies and you are sure this would definitely be a mistake. They should um, consider you and get your account reinstated or they should review your account and then reinstate it for you. Then after that, uh, you submit it. So um, just closing this part, but normally when you submit the ID, you see they'll ask you what are the reasons why you are requesting the review. This one they didn't ask, but they will normally ask 
And there are three reasons. You will see one that will say, I don't know, my account is compromised or hacked. And the other one will say another reason. So you have to select the another reason and write shortly and attach. So for this one, they didn't ask, so I'll just click on close. Now, if I refresh it here, um, if I refresh, you see that the account has been reinstated instantly. It is reinstated. It is reinstated. So that problem of the account being restricted is no longer there. So um, this is exactly how you can reinstate a disabled account. For some of you, you have to check, come here and check. It will take over 48 hours for the restriction to go. It will take about 48 hours for the restriction to go. But for this one, I got it instantly. So for those of you that it, they will tell you to wait for 48 hours, you just have to wait. After 48 hours, come back to the account quality to check and you will see that your account will be reinstated. One, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Turn on the notification bell and like this video. Leave your comments in the comment section. If you follow this video and you do, you are not able to solve your problem, you can also follow the WhatsApp link and Telegram link in the description to WhatsApp us for us to help you. Once again, see you in the next video. Bye-bye.